The discoveries from the meerkat is like going through the pockets of an old jacket and finding some money. While researchers went through old images of the meerkat and found a pot of gold. The meerkat has been proving to be a good investment. Since it started operating, it has discovered galaxies, mysterious rings of lights, and other secrets from the cosmos, yielding more than 400 scientific papers. Now a look through the archives have unlocked even more. One of the first, one of the first kinds of objects we've been detecting with these techniques are something called pulsars. Now pulsars are basically remnants of dead stars that have blown up in a supernova explosion, and then the core of the star collapses to something called a neutron star, which is an object that could be, you know, only a few kilometers across, but has the mass of a city, has the mass of Cape Town, basically, spinning very rapidly and uh, inducing, uh, you know, in inducing radio radiation from its environment. So that's the one sort of thing we're kind of find finding with this technique now. We're also seeing things like stellar flares, so powerful flares from other stars. You know, we know there are stellar flares. Well, we know flares from our sun. These can be pretty powerful. We know they can sometimes even disrupt our communication. The by chance discovery that will keep scientists busy for years. Of course, many pulsars have been discovered already. Uh, uh, what, what we hope to do is we hope to kind of start discovering them en masse because the way people have searched for pulsars before, because they have this very special pulse emission that comes from them, uh, they would search for those pulses, but they would only be able to search for those pulses in kind of a narrow, focused region of the sky. So it's kind of a slow, laborious process to, to go look in traditional ways. Now, if you look for pulsars as things that just blink at us in the images, because Meerkat is, has this wide field of view, so it covers a lot of sky at the same time, we should, we should just be able to discover a lot more of them. While pulses and stellar radio flares can be light years away, the study of them will eventually have earthly implications, with students and researchers already solving complicated problems. A lot of these people are going to say, well, you know what, this was interesting, but I'd really like working in the industry now. So they're going to come out of this, of this program with mathematical software skills that would be very hard to find anything any, uh, anywhere else. And I think this is the reason uh, all countries fund fundamental research pro programs. It's not just about the fundamental research, it's about creating the human capital. And a lot of that capital is not going to stay in research, it's going to go out into the economy at large and give you skilled, highly skilled technical specialists. The Meerkat is the front runner to the square kilometer array currently under construction in Carnarvon in the Karoo and in Australia. It's expected to be completed in 2028. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.